Okay, so today's task is going to configure that HP Office Connect 1920S 24G switch. The switch looks like this. Okay, so uh, let's go back to our environment. Uh, so let's uh, take a look. So this is uh, the switch management console interface anyway uh, but i already got the ip address changed so um, originally the ip address would be 19 192.168.1.1 so if you receive the switch and uh, just plugging your laptop, then you need to configure your laptop with another switch, another IP address in the same subnet. For example, this is a laptop, laptop, okay, and this is your switch. You connect to this one, but in this switch, I already changed the IP address, so that's logged in. So default login will be admin, and the password will be blank. Okay, so here's the interface of the switch and from the switch itself, you can see some of these key okay. and also you can see some information I already entered. Okay, and uh, at the very beginning, probably you will configure the IP address for your switch, okay. So I, by default it's DHCP. So if your switch plug into a network with the DHCP services, so your switch will receive another IP other than 192.168.1.1. So you need to look at their DHCP uh, active res, res, active list, okay. So and uh, but. If you don't plug into any other network, your switch will be this IP address. And okay, and uh, this switch actually was you get it actually is uh, plug in and played with device. If you don't use any routing functionality, okay. But in my scenario, I need a routing. Okay, I need a routing. So. Before I do the further configuration, let's take a look on my uh, my requirement, okay, and my network requirement, okay. And uh, one second. So here you go. So my plan, my plan is. So this is my switch. So if you look at the connection here, actually I have different network. This is my LAN network, okay? So my LAN network going to the switch this way, okay? Going to the switch. And the switch, this switch will acting as a router, router going to route my traffic Go into another subnet. This is another subnet. Okay, so there are two at least a second subnet, and meanwhile another subnet on this one connecting to not another internet. Okay, so I have at least three subnet. So I need to put those three subnet in three VLANs. Okay, three VLANs. So at least so I have VLAN six and the VLAN seven. And by default, all the ports there on the VLAN one, so I have three VLANs, okay. And in order to allow the traffic in between the VLANs and the subnets, you do need to enable a routing functionality. So here, yeah. so here we understand now we have three subnet on three VLANs and. I need to allow them to route into each other. So this is our requirement. And I will let you know the further 
other requirement as well. So and let's pop up my freelance settings. So we will bypass all those settings. I assume we can leave it by default. Even if you don't set up the switch, you are going to work. It will allow you to connect. But if you have three subnet and you need three VLANs, so first thing you need to configure the VLAN here. Okay, VLANs. So I've already got VLAN set up. And for you, if you want to configure VLAN, simply type your VLAN ID, for example, 100. So apply. So you got another VLAN. Okay. And I already entered. And you can edit, give it a name, my VLAN, right? 100. Okay. So you simply create multiple VLANs. And uh, for the, uh, in order to allow the given port for the VLAN, then you need like uh, give the port which VLAN belongs to. Okay. So, for example, if you choose any VLAN, uh, any port, this is a, they call it interface. Any interface, uh, like a port five, interface five, if you add it. So you will see VLAN ID. Right now I'm on VLAN ID one, so it's included and untagged. Okay. So if you want to change this interface to another VLAN, what you need to do is you change the VLAN here first, then pick up the interface, then add it. So you can include it and untag it. Untag it. Okay. So you apply. Then the port five, you will go into another VLAN. Okay, so let's check it out. Uh, VLAN one. So see VLAN one port five already excluded. Okay, and VLAN hundred is included and it's untagged. Okay, included. And if you change again, you can change it again. Included, untagged. Okay. At this moment, we haven't touched tagged. We can talk about in future videos. Okay. And now I change it back. So if we look at VLAN six, okay, we can see twelve and thirteen is on VLAN six and uh, VLAN seven. Okay. So we can see, okay, 20, 23 is on VLAN 7 included. Okay. So now we assign the VLANs to the given interfaces already. Okay. So, and what we need to do, we need to plug in the different device with a corresponding subnet in order to allow them to pin. For example, this one, I, I configured, okay, I, I configured like 10, is that 10? Okay, this is my Ethernet. Is sixteen seven dot thirty, and so I can ping one seventy two the sixteen dot seven dot one. Okay, I can pin the switch. Okay, so we finish the VLAN and definition. So next step, we need enable the routing for the VLAN in between VLANs. Okay, if we click the routing and on the global, you need, so we enable the routing mode. Enable, then click apply and save your configuration. Okay, so kind of second step to allow them to route into each other. And uh, next step would be here in the VLAN. So you need 
enable routing mode, enable routing mode, right? I'm on VLAN one, enable, enable, and then I give it an IP address. So here, I assign the VLAN one for this IP. This is my default IP, okay? So VLAN one got IP and you keep going, VLAN six, give another IP six, 16.6.1 VLAN 7 give another IP 7.1 this is my subnet anyway and uh, VLAN 100 this one is so we just we just created and there's no no routing mode uh, no admin mode so basically you need to enable those and give another subnet IP address, okay, but I'm not going to configure these, so, so I just finished those three. So at this moment, uh, let's go back to my demo page, uh, this page. So I configured VLAN 6 and gave it a IP address at 6.1, configured VLAN 7, give the address as 7.1, configured VLAN 1, give it 100.254. So, and my, I have this laptop plugged in to this VLAN 6, and uh, I configured my laptop as a VLAN 6.30, so then I'm able to ping this 6.1 okay 6 .1. just as i did okay sorry 6.1 or 7.1 they're they're supposed to all reachable because they are in routing mode right now so if i ping another one this is the VLAN 1's address, interface address, so they're all reachable. So that means they're wrought into each other right now. Okay. <clears throat> so um, we finished the uh, routing config. It's quite straightforward. Um, but if we go back to our Go back to our requirement here again. So, for example, if my LAN client, if their traffic need to go out and go through the firewall going to internet, if you just configure that, it will not enough, okay? Because the internet traffic, they don't know how to go back, okay? and. So basically, this firewall need to uh, specify the local subnet here should point into this same device here. If this device need to know this 172.168.100 also need to configure routing here. Uh, it's a routing table, okay? Uh, but for this one, in order to go in, out and reach internet and reach another internet here, so basically you need manipulate the routing table. Okay, so, and also we have a subnet here, 10.0, 10.1, and this one don't know where to go, right? It only know the default gateway going out, okay? So we need to understand this subnet as well. Okay. So basically this is achieved by the routing table. Okay, so here, stack. Okay, so I enter two default gateway here, two default gateways. So in order to add this, you simply add Routing router here. You can set default gateway next hop. Okay, 
So I already did this one, and this is my first default gateway. And this is, I can repeat adding second default gateway, but the preference will be higher than another one. Okay, so that means 60, this one has a 60, will be the default one. And if this failed, then it will go to the second one. Let's go back, take a look. So this one, okay, 7, 6, 7, 30, this one will be the first internet. And this one, fail, if this one, failed it will fail over to second one okay let's take a look on the third routing table so i enter the 10.0 okay and the next hop will be six that means uh, this one will go to the six dot thirty by default Okay, and we can look at here. So the routing table, static routing table here. So for any net, any traffic going to this 10.0 or 10.1, it will go into this path instead of go to the default one. Okay, so go into here and we'll reach here. Okay. But I have another, I do have another one. Again, it's going to another. So why I have that one? So similar idea, this one is also fail over settings. Okay, it's also fail settings. So if this one going here is not reachable, then it will try this route, okay? So this rod, you might you might have similar to these settings. So this one will be VPN. Okay. So you have a VPN going back here. So it's still reachable. Okay. VPN will go through the internet. Same idea for this one. Same idea here. Another one I didn't. Uh, mentioned in the map, so here you go. Just another one. You can add more if you have more LAN network in your network. So then, I do need to mention there's one the preference. So I do find this one the preference, the default gateway must at least same as. The other other static routing entry like 60 60 if this one is higher than this one then your your job couldn't go out couldn't couldn't go out okay mm, uh, I think that's the most critical settings for this switch acting as a router and for the other setting, we might talk about in futures. Okay.